Uh, Michael Mott is a New Hartford uh, native. He has uh, been having great success in New York City with his artwork, and he's has an upcoming show at uh, Munson Williams, and he's on the line with us right now. Michael, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. So tell us about, first of all, the success you've been having in, uh, in the Big Apple. <laughs> yeah, sure. If you call it success, great. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, I'm doing well. I, uh, uh, I'm a composer and a lyricist, and I, work, I write a variety of styles, pop, dance, jazz, musical theater. And uh, this fall, like in next week, on the 24th, I'll be coming to Munson Williams and doing a concert of all my original material. So I'm bringing um, two Broadway stars, Jackie Burns, who is the longest-running Elphaba on Broadway in Wicked, and uh, Matt DeAngelis who is in Hair on Broadway, and then a wow. five-piece band and three singers, and we're doing a two-hour show of all my music at Munson Williams. And to, be able to, and to be able to do your own material is always big for a musician. Yeah, no, it's very exciting, and it's honestly like the way to make money now in, yeah. in the business because no one buys music. Everyone wants everything for free, you know? Yeah, I know. So it's, it's fun. I, I've been doing a ton of concerts in New York, and now I'm starting to bring concerts of my material around the country and Utica is my hometown so it's the very first stop that we're doing and I'm very excited about it. So how have you been able to hook up with the people on these uh, Broadway shows? Um, I was an actor for about seven years and they were my friends and then when I put out my album um, I kind of just made a lot of connections and made friends and yeah, yeah. asked them to sing. Yeah. yeah, I was on your show a couple of years ago. I remember yeah, that. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, yeah. That was my very first interview. Actually, it was, and I uh, and I hope we uh, I don't know I hope we helped in some way uh, played a role. You absolutely yeah. helped. Yeah, you played cool. you played one of my songs. Uh, and, and I have to tell you, um, and going back to that part about uh, being able to play your own material, it is so I mean, even on the radio when you come on the radio. I mean, we kind of have a rule here where we want you really to do a cover, so people kind of know. You know, right. when you play a gig somewhere, they want you to do covers because everybody knows. Right. So to be able to come out and do a full show of your stuff is is not overly common, and it's a huge compliment. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, it's 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 a lot of fun. And you know what? In Utica, it's the very first time ever I'm actually going to do a cover. I never do covers, but I thought it'd be so fun because that's what people want to hear. People yeah, want to hear songs yeah. they know. And what what cover are you going to do? Uh, I'm actually going to do two, but they're both a surprise. Okay, all right, uh, all right, okay. All right. I get it. I <laughs> totally, uh, totally get that. Now, but they're songs that people at home would love and know, well, no. and I think I think it would do. People respond well to it. All right, uh, Michael Mott. So uh, times when, where we know it's going to be uh, at Munson, but I believe it's in the uh, the Edward Wales Root Sculpture Court, right? It is. Yeah. It is, and I've actually never seen that, so I'm very excited to check it out. Yeah, and that is um, coming up on a week from Saturday. Saturday, right? yeah, Saturday, September 24th at 8 o'clock, Once in Williams, concerts in the court. Um, you can get tickets on my website, michaelmott.net. All right, Andrew. So I've seen a lot of pictures of you on social media with uh, Mariah Carey. I know you're a big <laughs> Mariah Carey fan. Have you yeah. had the chance to be able to work with her on, on a number of occasions? or? Um, no, but we actually just talked about it in Vegas. She wow. sadly is not coming to you because she's not available. Oh, <laughs> darn. <laughs> yeah. I know. I feel, I feel really, really bad. I'm sure people are upset about it. But but, but you um, have a working relationship with her? I do not yet, but I've been I've been trying to plant that seed for the last three years. And, nice. You know, hey, AKA, he's, he's creeping on her. Uh, he's creeping <laughs> on her Facebook page. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm creeping on her. Exactly. So um, uh, one, one last question. I know that uh, music is huge in New Hartford. Are, um, are you a New Hartford grad, and did that play any role for you uh, growing up? Oh, totally, yeah. No, I graduated New Hartford High School in 2003, and, I mean, that's the place that inspired me to get into the arts in the first place. Yeah. Brooke Thorm Allen and Stephen Paparo at New Hartford High School, and then Jackie Osterman at the Hartford Players Youth Theater really nurtured that desire I had. And, uh, I mean, then I decided to go to college and major in it, in, in musical theater performance. But, you know, after like seven years of being an actor, I realized that, that I wasn't creatively satisfied singing mm -hmm. other people's stuff and saying other people's lines. Yeah. And I would much rather just create it myself. And so that's what I've been doing the last three years. Would you be as satisfied if you created, uh, if one of your songs was picked up and maybe used in a show or somebody else was performing it? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. I think that'd be. Real. Yeah, I've had, I've had, I've had, I've written songs and had them on hold, but nothing's happened yet for some big artists on Sony and RCA Records. Nice. And then they're released because you know the business is 
you know, the business is what it is. You're it not is. a name, Michael. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so, but you you know I I got to tell you it's the uh, what's the girl that does uh, all about the base? What's her uh, her oh, story? Oh, Megan Trainer. Megan and Megan I, I'm pretty sure her story was she was behind the scenes and then they had her writing music for artists and all of a sudden they're like nobody really wants this song. Why don't you try to do it? And then bingo, everything exactly. uh, falls to, uh, right into place for you. So that's the uh, same with Sia. Yes. And Billy and Billy Joel, who's like my biggest. Think about the Billy Joel that Billy yeah. Joel story. Same deal. Of course, he had the luxury of coming up. In an era where people actually paid for music, um, <laughs> and or, yeah. and he came out at a time when the singer songwriter was super was just on the cusp of becoming popular. Yeah, and yeah. so he was out there writing demo, writing songs, and doing demos for other artists. And labels were like, "Why don't you just go tour these?" And he's like, "Okay, I'll tour these," but that's weird. And then yeah. all of a sudden, he blew up and got a fan base. Yeah, really you know? cool. And yeah, again, you just don't know what's uh, and that's why these relationships that we're talking about become very, very valuable and important. And uh, anyway, uh, come on out and 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 see Michael. It's going to happen over at Munson Williams in the uh, Root Sculpture Court. It happens on Saturday, September twenty fourth at eight p.m. And it's Michael Mott and Friends. That was then. This is how. How. Yeah, yeah I like that. All right, Michael. Good stuff. And uh, maybe we can get you in studio one of these times again. Yeah, I'm around. Let me know. Good deal. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank you so much. All right. Michael Mott.